So today I'm going to be showing you my full shoulders and traps routine. Today was another early morning facet workout and I started off with the overhead press. The overhead press is hands down one of the best exercises that you can do to really help develop your front and side delts. And one of the main things that I like about this exercise is that it provides such a large range of motion which keeps your muscle under a lot of tension which obviously is going to help with building muscle. So I started off with two main compound exercises. After doing this, this, I moved on to some seated dumbbell shoulder presses. I'm using 30 kilograms right here. Now keep in mind every single set that I do I train to failure so the reps can fluctuate quite a bit but for the most part these first two exercises that I did I got anywhere from around 6 to 12 reps. That's what I like to do. I find on my first two exercises I still like to train in that hypertrophy rep range. However sometimes I like to go a wee bit heavier than other times just to help build them with that strength and maintaining that strength throughout my cut. Now you'll notice on this shoulder workout routine I've cut back slightly on the volume and the reason for this is that I don't want to put my shoulder joints and my rotator cuffs under a lot of pressure and tension during this cut. I want to promote a lot of longevity in my shoulders and I also want to make sure that I'm recovered for my next chest day and obviously for my next shoulder day. So after doing my first main compound movements I moved on to some isolation exercises. I did some side lateral raises and some front raises. Now the reason that I didn't do any rear delt movements is because I do that on my back day and I do my back day the day before shoulders. So if I was to do rear delts twice in a row the muscle wouldn't be recovered and it just wouldn't be logical to do that. So if you don't train your rear delts on your back day make sure you are doing it on your shoulder day or at least you're doing it once a week to really help uh, build a de well developed and balanced shoulder and to really promote roundness in your shoulders that's what the main thing is you got to develop all three heads in your delts to get well rounded shoulders so after doing all my five main shoulder exercises I moved on to traps I did four sets of these dumbbell shrugs I'm using 35 kilograms right here so this was my final set and the reason I wanted to record my final set is so you can see what way I do my exercises if I showed you my first set of every exercise you're going to see me looking fresh performing it with the best form I want you to really see and feel as if you're in the gym with me so you can see what exactly it is that I'm doing so whenever I train shoulders, I do like to get a variety of reps. For those first four sets, I just went to failure and did as many as I could. But as I moved on to the Smith machine right here, I started off with four pyramid sets. So I started off with a light weight, and as you'll see right here, this was my first set. I got around 35 reps, and what I did was I pyramided it up each set until I got to the heaviest weight that I could lift for around 6 to 10 reps. Now once I got to that weight, I did one final set. Set, which took me to four pyramid sets and then I kept it at that weight and did another four sets after that training to failure and that was my full shoulder workout. It's not extremely high in volume but I've tailored it in a way that it helps me focus in on all heads of my delts, also focuses on helping me develop some traps and it also keeps the volume low enough that I'm not straining my rotator cuff and my shoulder joint in general. So as you saw me drop the weight right there and pick it up again, that's me just trying to grind out as many reps as I can and readjust my grip because my grip was given out at this stage. So this set you see right here was my final set of this was the eighth set of doing shrugs on the Smith machine. So this was the heaviest weight that I'm using. And it looks like I'm not getting that larger range of motion, but I actually am. It's just the angle that the camera's at. But there you have it, guys. There's my full shoulder workout routine. So this routine. is what I'm having post-workout. I've got a full kiwi in here. I've got a full orange, some red grapes, some blueberries. So I just got myself a nice post-workout meal right here. I'm gonna open this up. So, boom. I got some sweet potato fries right here. And with that, I'm gonna have nice double beef burger right there this is from the same place that i was eating earlier on in the week i the i think it was the episode day two of my cut so it's a, it was a pretty fucking nice meal so i didn't have much food in the house i didn't really feel like going out buying food coming back and cooking it. it's pretty fucking hungry so i'm just gonna have this now i've got some salsa as well with that i'm gonna be using that on it you know, I'm only early into the cut. There's no need to go fucking crazy right now. I'm actually getting lean pretty quickly anyway. It's only been like four or five days. But you can just notice with the decreased calories, 
and the extra cardio, my body just seems to be dropping weight pretty quickly. So that's very fucking good. So I'm going to eat this right now. I've got some grocery shopping to do, obviously, because I don't have much food in the house right now. So I'm going to eat this, go get that. I'll keep you all, keep you all updated. You see that? That's so fucking nice. I'm gonna eat this. Boom. So this is what I've got. Celery, spinach, lettuce, tomatoes for making some salads. Got some kiwis as well. I've got quite a lot of fruit there from my last shop. So I just got some kiwis to stay topped up. Also got two packets of chicken. These are pretty big fillets as well. So these are going to be good to increase the protein on my cut. Also got three six packs of eggs. Got some brown rice, white rice. Got some sweet potatoes. I still have some some white potatoes left from my last shop, so I didn't need to get any white potatoes. Also got one wee small bar of white chocolate. And whilst I was out at that restaurant that I was eating at, I got some of this here. This is some Ignisha. Some people pronounce it Echinisha. I just call it Ignisha. Pretty much it's good for helping to keep your immune system functioning good. You know, I don't, I don't have to have it. I mean, it's just good to keep you boosted, keep you healthy, because it's important that you stay healthy so you can train frequently. So that's why I like to get it. That's why I like to eat a predominantly healthy diet so I can stay good, stay functioning, stay focused. So right now, I'm going to put that stuff away, and then it's time to work. This is what I'm having right now, guys. Got a big-ass bowl of spaghetti bolognese, nice portion of white pasta, good source of protein. So right now it's 10 past 1. I just got a video ready to come out tomorrow for you guys. And right now I'm going to get ready for bed. Tomorrow's arms. And that's going to do it for another day in the cut. Boom.